Hey guys and gals, how are we doing? It's me, Joe Sires, back here for the Music Factory Studios. Today I want to talk to you about a Linux OS that I had never tried, but I'd always wanted to, and then I would make a list of like the distros I was going to cover or check out, and then I'd get to PC Linux OS and I'd just skip over it. Well, that was stupid of me because, geez, is this, this Linux OS has a lot of tools built for users to make this distro great now let me explain something there's this desktop environment known as trinity it's a fork of an, the last version of kde which i think is kde4 no trinity is a fork of kde3 now the thing about it is is kde3 and the early kde desktop environments were buggy they were terrible they were a throwback to the days of windows 3.1 and CDE and things of that nature. Mix step, open step, BOS, that kind of look and feel. And you know what I'm talking about. But here was the thing I was checking out their page and I said, you know what? I'm absolutely going to try PC Linux OS. So I'm checking out their page, which is convoluted as can be. It, this is the worst part of the whole experience is their website. For as much time as they've put into the OS, I'd like to see them do a little something with the the, the 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 website because I mean cool I can go and get KDE Mate or XFCE I don't want any one of those I don't personally care for KDE Plasma it takes forever to set it up if I'm going to set up KDE Plasma I'll just install Windows I've said that for a long time because the default setups for KDE Plasma is just too it just takes forever to set it up. Mate, I'll, I won't use any desktop environment. That's the reason you never see me cover LXDE. If I can't do reverse scrolling with a mouse wheel out of the box, I don't. I, I got no reason to use your distro. I mean, it's nothing against the, the distributors. My favorite distribution, Solus, has a Mate version. I'm not going to cover it because it's it's so frustrating that it's. 2020 the year 2020 and i can't get reverse scrolling on my mouse what's worse about mate is they'll give you reverse scrolling on the touchpad but not for the mouse wheel counterintuitive people that's completely counterintuitive xfce i don't mind i kind of like xfce it works it's rock solid and it gets the job done but i was more interested in this is a community releases so I clicked on community releases thinking, hey, they might have some other desktop environments like GNOME or something. And it said you can find the community releases here and here, which they both take you basically to the same downloads. And they have an LXQT, which I haven't tried. They have an OpenBox, which is probably one of the best implementations of OpenBox that I've seen. It works out of the box. You can, on a laptop, you can... Uh, brighten and dim the screen easily you don't have to kind of figure it out it works in a very intuitive way if you've used L xfce or uh, lxqt the pc linux o os open box version is probably the open box you need to try first probably before the manjaro version i mean the manjaro version is is really great as well don't get me wrong i'm not saying it's bad or something but this is just really good. But I saw this TDE and I said, is that, that can't be Trinity. And then I looked on down here and I'm like, oh yeah, it is Trinity, huh? I gotta try this. So I tried Trinity on another distro. I'm trying to think of the name of that distro. Seems like it was, uh, um, um, it was a Debian based distro and it was okay but there wasn't they didn't have all the configurability a uh, configurability that the uh the original kde desktop environment had when they shipped okay when they shipped the kde desktop back then you got all these options well it wasn't really in that that distro i'm trying to think of the name of that distro it was um i can't think of it don't you hate when you're trying to think of something and it just goes poof ha ha now you sound like an idiot ha ha your brain tells you you know <laughs> but what i did is i installed trinity on a virtual machine first just to see if 
everything was there. Well, to my chagrin, it is. I know the wallpaper. <laughs> it was the option I had. But here's the best part. In the old KDE versions, which I think this is really what started dark mode, is in the old KDE versions, you could have a dark mode. Now, I installed Thunar just so I'd have a good package manager. But it has a dark mode that works. As you can see here, I like it. This is PC Linux OS. Now I'm running on a MacBook Pro 2019. It has a 555X Radeon Pro GPU. It also has the i7-9750H as well as it's hooked up to an RX 5700 XT in a Sonnet EGFX Breakaway Box 550. Gee, that's a mouthful of letters and useless numbers. Basically, I've got three GPUs hooked up to this thing and, one, and two CPUs actually because the T2 is a CPU. So pretty interesting for just a laptop, but it runs surprisingly smooth in emulation. I'm using Parallels desktop and uh parallels is great i mean it just it it's easy to set things up it's a lot easier than like vmware fusion or VirtualBox. but there's a lot of great options here for people who want a, a desktop environment that they can control it's not as cluttered as plasma trinity is ever let me put it this way trinity is everything lxqt needs to become Imagine if they took the philosophy of this older KDE style desktop workflow and look and feel, because if you just look at it, to be honest with you, you wouldn't really know if it's LXQT just by looking at this, if it's LXQT or if it's Trinity, and then you hit the menu and you're like, oh yeah, what is this? So this may bring back a lot of memories for people who actually have used the older KDE systems if you could get it installed. <laughs> Remember the early KDE or cool desktop environment? If you got it installed, it ran about two days and died. <laughs> if you could get it to run that long, most of the time it would boot, crash, and never come back up. So it, it's, it all works in emulation very, very well. And I'm, I'm really, really stoked about how good this, this, this distro is. PC Linux OS is a new thing for me. It uses the Synaptics Package Manager, and it's based on, I think, Ubuntu. It uses apt, so it's either Ubuntu or Debian. Uh, if it's Ubuntu, it's also based on Debian, but that's besides the point. Um, all, the only things that I have installed have been literally Thunar. <laughs> that's it. Okay, I installed Thunar. It has the Crusader package or uh, file manager from back in the day everybody remembers this being the default awesome file manager that kde used to ship with and that was always great because it's just a it's a powerhouse dolphin's great but you can't really you can't even do like administrator things in dolphin it just blocks you from doing it like nope nope <laughs> foul ball you know but uh you know, there's not a whole lot installed. You got Xterm. It does have the VirtualBox stuff installed just in case you need it. But it has this really nice configuration center where you can kind of just set everything up, okay? You can go in in the Trinity Control Center. And if you look here at first, you go, well, okay, what is this? You got appearance and themes. You got your backgrounds, which is the wallpapers. Your colors, you can change all these colors to whatever you want them to be. That's what I did. It took me about five minutes because it came with the only dark mode it had was this one. And I wasn't too happy about that. So I tried this and I was like, that's a little bit better. And then I went in and really tweaked it to this. And it's kind of like arc dark or something. <laughs> and it works. You've also got numerous window decorations. There's one that looks, if you're more like, I'm a, I'm a Mac user, everybody knows that. So I was trying to get that kind of workflow and feel. As you can see with the Mac desktop, you get these little buttons on the left here. So that's kind of what I did here. But if you're a Windows user, 
I think it's smooth blend, wasn't it? Yes. Smooth blend would be the way to go for windows. You would actually just put these buttons on the other side and boom, done. And it works and it looks good. I mean, these buttons look great and you can change the colors of the buttons, uh, you know, and do whatever you want to with them. Now I cannot remember for the life of me what that one was called, the one I was using. Was it, um, which one was it? <laughs> oh no, I forgot. Was it Domino? It was Domino. Fly. There we go. But it works. It's easy to configure. You've got a bunch of different pre-built themes that are already in there. You can change. I mean, it's basically like KDE in just a, a cut down way, but it's, it's more simplified. It, it just works. There's a bunch of icons installed. You've got a bajillion types of icons. We'll use Breeze Dark here since everybody knows the Breeze icons. And you've got colors. You can have different styles. QT Curve, Light, Microsoft Windows, the, the look of that. And you may have seen like Plastic and Motif and... Uh, things like that in the drop down menus for plasma well they originated here as ways of setting up the plasma now known as trinity desktop environment and it just works well man you can change the background you can add your own things of that nature and i really like this i think it's a great great desktop environment i just thought that the supplied wallpapers were kind of all bad <laughs> there just wasn't a good one there was one of the original awesome kde wallpapers you could install like where did that go backgrounds scaled let's go with um it, it was just uh, three little circles and it said KDE, or not three little circles, three letters that said KDE and they made a square. There was also, you know, a bunch of these things are, are bringing back memories of, of using the old KDE desktop environment. But, you know, hey, it's it's something that, that could be great for a new user because... It gives you some customizability and gives you a lot of choice, but it doesn't break and fall apart just for doing that. And it's great for new users in a way if they're uncomfortable with the terminal because you can't just go sudo apt install blah, blah, blah. You have to use the package manager, which is a good thing. And it keeps you from installing unnecessary things that you don't need. Synaptics is really, really good at what it does. So if you want to check out this distro, I highly recommend checking out the open box or this Trinity version. It may give you something new that you may have been looking for if you've been on like GNOME or XFCE or, or even KDE for a while. And if you've never used the older version of KDEs, if you've never used an older environment from the KDE team, come check out Trinity. I, I think you might like it. It's just as customizable and it's a whole lot more stable because it's had a lot more years of work and bug fixes and things of that nature. And, you know, the open box, it's, it's wonderful as well. I haven't tried their other mainline distros or mainline desktop environments, but the community editions seem to be super stable. This has been PC Linux OS, which is a great, great distribution. So go check them out at PCLinuxOS.com. All right, guys and gals, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see y'all next time. Have a great day, y'all.